Hi ladies, welcome back. Thank you very much for finding the time to join me for this class. Uh, today let's get inspired by this wonderful landscape behind me and let's start. We're going to start sitting down with the knees bent, the feet hip distance apart and I just would like to start mobilizing the spine a little bit. We start from the neck. So if this position doesn't feel very comfortable to you, you can cross your legs or you can sit a little bit higher. So find a book or a yoga block to sit on top and sit a little bit higher. Okay. If you can, keep the hands on top of your knees, otherwise you can rub the back of your thighs and we're going to start moving the neck down into a gentle flexion. Do not let your neck collapse into the chest and we return. We look down gently and back up, eye level, not higher. We look down and up and down and up and we go for two more. And up. And one last one. Stay down. Okay, don't jump your chin into the chest for the moment. And we start rotating the neck side to side. Look into one side, center, other direction. It's like drawing half a circle with your nose. Keep rotating side to side. Back to the center. Now we repeat the same rotation, but this time eye level. So rotate to one side, center. Other side, center. Keep going. Try not to rotate your spine and your shoulders. Your shoulders are pointing straight in forward and they are square with the hips. You are sitting directly on top of your seat bone. Try to start lengthening your spine. I want you to grow two centimeters taller before the start of the class, okay? So keep lengthening and reaching through the top of your head. Don't slouch down. Show me a nice long spine, a nice long neck. One more. And return. With the shoulder sound, I want you to draw a circle going backward. Open your collarbone, open your sternum. Inhale through your nose, exhale through the mouth. Keep rolling the shoulders. We go for three more. Two more. One last one. Stay here. Arms straight in front of you. We move the shoulder blades. Okay. We want to start squeezing the shoulder blades together at the back. So imagine visualize into your mind your shoulder blades gliding along the rib cage back together. It's like you want your uh, shoulder blades border to kiss, okay? So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the muscle in the mid back and then reach the fingertips forward. Not rounding your spine. I don't want you to slouch down and let your shoulders slip to the ears. I want you to keep your nice long spine and just again, let your shoulder glide apart as far as they can away from the spine and back together kissing each other kissing the spine squeeze 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 at the back and reach forward so as you can see i'm not moving my elbows or my shoulders my arms are still long and strong all the time i'm reaching through my fingertips what is moving here is the shoulder blades so from the back maybe you can see it a little bit better my shoulder blades are moving apart and then back together towards the midline of my back Apart and back. Reach, reach, reach and back. So again, it's not a movement of the arms or the spine, it's just the shoulder blades. Sliding off the rib cage. And lower down. We lie down and we keep moving the arms. With the arms up to the ceiling, we start with the palm of the hands facing each other and we move the arms into circle. As we do this, as we start circling the arms around, I want you to keep your pelvis neutral. Remember that the neutral position is the ideal alignment for your pelvis. And I want you to keep the ribs down. 
moreover the back of your rib cage. So don't lift the spine from the ground, from your mat. Keep your ribs down and in, your tailbone down. Like sending a lot of weight, a lot of your body weight at the center of the sacrum. Be heavy on your table. And try to make these movements bigger and bigger as we go, as the joints are warming up. Find that range of motion. All the way up, keeping the ribs in, keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And all the way down, like touching my heels. One more time. Back at the ceiling, we reverse the circles. This time, go down as far as you can. Keep the shoulders here. This is the distance I want you to keep between the shoulders and the ears. And now circle up, careful, keep the same distance, and up. Got it? So don't move your shoulders. Make sure the shoulder blades are still in contact with the floor. Your shoulders are wide open. The collarbone is wide, the sternum is soft. And keep breathing in through your nose, out through the mouth. You have plenty of time, no rush, this is just a warm up. So take your time, half a circle to inhale, half a circle to exhale. One more. Arms down. Now, with the legs, I want you to start with the legs down. First of all, let's bring the right knee up to the chest and hug your knee. Pull the knee closer to the chest. Stay in this position. We start drawing circles with the ankle. Keep breathing. Warm up the ankle joint. Now reverse the circles. Hold the ankle where it is. With the same side arm, open your knee out to the side. Pull the knee out almost to the floor if you can. If you can press it on the floor, it's very fine. If you cannot, totally okay. I can move either. And return down. Extend the leg on the floor. The opposite side. Bring the knee up to the chest and pull. Try to keep the same side hip down and away from you. So I don't want you to lift the whole spine, okay? Keep your spine lengthening. Again, the weight is at the center of the sacrum. And we draw a circle with the ankles. One last one. Reverse. Same side arm. Pulling the knee out to the side, open the front of the hip. The opposite hip is down on the floor. And now bring both knees to the chest, keeping the hands on top of your knees or just behind the thighs we roll up into one piece. Very good. This is like our standing position. So again, make sure you're sitting on top of your seat bones, that your spine is nice and tall. I want you to keep the arms straight in front of you. Or if you don't feel comfortable here, you can keep the hands behind the knees. But I don't want you to grab the legs, okay? Uh, be very light on your arms. So from here, we're going to a half roll back here. I want you to actively roll your pelvis back and roll your spine down just until the sacrum. Try to keep your feet down on the floor. When the sacrum is fully down, roll back up again. This is a preparation for the next exercise that is the roll up. So roll just until the pelvis is down and up again, nice and tall. Exhale, these are movements starting from the low abdominals. So you are tucking your pelvis under with the movement of the abdominals. Again, this is very subtle, but I just don't want you to be off, be passive in the movement. So don't use the legs. You see, I could do these and just roll back and forth behind my sit bones without using any effort, any muscle. So imagine that if your feet are up in the air, you're still able to do this movement, 
okay? So it's a movement starting from the pelvic floor lifting, from the navel pulling back towards the spine, from the lower abdominals kind of lifting away and rolling the pelvis back, okay? So we get a passive movement. You should be tired during this exercise. So roll back, press your feet down on the floor, activate the hamstrings. The shoulders start down and roll up again. The breathing. Exhale when you roll down, pull the belly in. Try to make your pelvis flat, your abdominals flat. Inhale when you're up. Exhale when you roll. Inhale when you come up. Exhale when you roll. Inhale when you're up. Exhale when you roll. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Now we're going to stop halfway. So roll back. Not as far as we were doing before. Just stop here. Your feet are still on the floor. I want you to twist back and rotate your arm back and up again to return forward. So it's a rotation starting at the spine. We are not changing the height of our shoulder, of our spine. We are still pulling the navel to the spine, still rounding the back. And we are adding the twist to warm up and engage the obliques a bit more. Swipe your arm back and around. Exhale. Inhale at the center. Exhale when you rotate. One more. Return at the center. Lower down all the way. Arms up to the ceiling. Here. Open your feet to keep the distance apart and really dig your heels down into the floor. Okay? So your ankles are dorsiflex, your toes up to the ceiling all the time. Try not to use the arms as much. I want you to roll up your spine one piece at a time. Belly stay flat. You're still pulling the navel to the spine and stop. Okay, so this is not just a stretch for your hamstrings. I want you to imagine there is a huge beach ball on top of your thigh bones. And so when you are rolling up, when you're coming up, you are kind of rolling yourself against this beach ball, okay? So you cannot press the beach ball away. Keep the beach ball on top of your legs. Just adapt yourself to the curve of the ball, this huge imaginary beach ball, okay? So you're still pulling the navel in. Your kind of upper body, your shoulders are going forward as the navel is going back. So here we are really rounding the spine. Keep this nice roundness. You see my spine look like a C curve, like a letter C. And here, still pressing my heels to the floor. Slowly roll down. Slowly, 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 slowly. Still keeping the same shape on my spine. Rolling down one vertebra at a time. Again. Feel yourself off one vertebra at a time. Imagine your spine like a string of curves. One more time. Okay, so what I forgot to tell you, please, is a little bit late, but if you cannot come up all the way, instead of uh, giving momentum, lifting the legs, using the arms, and just mm, straight your neck, I prefer you to stop here, but using the same muscle that we want to work to get to the end of the exercise. So the shoulders down, the heels pressing, the abs, and just stop here. It's totally fine, we will get there, okay? Or if you're not even doing that, just stick with the half roll back. We can do 100 of these before getting to the roll up. So again, try to adapt the exercise to where you are today with your body, okay? Every day is different. Some days I cannot do the roll up too. So, 
it's not necessary to be exercised until the end if you don't feel like doing it, okay? Good. Now, when you're done, I want you to lie again on your back, the legs table top. Let's work the obliques again. So our upper body will be completely still and stable on the floor. The arms pressing like crazy. These are our stable support. The feet in line with the knees, the knees over the hips. Tabletop position. I want you to twist the knees together to one side, keeping the opposite shoulder, the opposite side ribcage of the floor, and return. In the meantime, squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze the knees, squeeze the feet. Inhale, when you twist away, exhale with your obliques, bring the knees back at the center. Twist away to one side, toes level, knees level, and center. Imagine you are holding a tray uh, on top of your sheet. You can actually hold a piece of paper, a bowl. You can squeeze a bowl between the knees to make sure you are engaging your inner thighs. Keep pressing with the arms. And twist and center and twist and center. Stay at the center. Legs up to the ceiling. We want to really fire the lower abdominals here. Imagine you are with your legs into a chimney so you cannot really uh, break the bricks by lowering the legs, right? So keep the legs into this imaginary chimney and go up to the end of it, to the ceiling. Up. Up, 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 keep pressing, try to keep as much arm, as much shoulder as you can on the floor. Up on your chin, up, the head is down of course. Up, 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 it's a tiny subtle movement, it doesn't have to be massive. You just have to feel that you are rolling your spine off by using the abdominals. So this is not a leg kick, okay? We are not gaining momentum. I really want you to stick where you are and just go up and up and up and up and two more. One last one. Great. Let's mix these two exercises together. So, twisting to one side with the legs, opposite shoulder down. Rotate your legs like drawing a circle to the opposite side. Lift the pelvis and return. Again, one more time. Circle the legs. Keep your toes level. The hips are always even here. So don't let the legs lie in space like this, okay? The opposite hip uh, is lifting up from the floor. The shoulders are both down. Up and down. Up and reverse and circle. And up and down and circle. And circle to the other side. And bend your knees. Good. So this was the preparation for the rollover. If you have any neck issue, if you have low back issue too, and if you don't feel like comfortable doing inversion, or if we never did this exercise together, please don't try this at home alone. Okay? Instead, if we did this exercise together, oh wait, if you're not doing the rollover, I want you to stick with some of these exercises. So, you can keep twisting the knees together side to side, you can go up to the chin, or you can twist and go up to the chin and reverse, okay? Stick with one of these. Instead, if we did the rollover together before, let's go. Legs straight up to the ceiling, press into your hands. Same movement, think about going up the chin and go over here. Make sure your body weight is not on your head and on your cervical spine, on your neck, but is slightly below on your shoulders, on your shoulder blades. Split the legs apart, legs parallel to the floor. Dorsiflex, we're gonna stretch the hamstrings on the roll down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press into the hands to slow down the fall. Engage your abdominals, roll down slowly, control, 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 control. Great, close your legs together again, up and over. 
legs parallel to the floor. Split the legs, keep distance. Dorsiflex the ankles. Reach in through your heels, roll down. Reach the legs up. And down all the way. Now, keep the legs hip distance apart. Point your toes. Press again and roll over. This time we close the legs and we dorsiflex. So reach through your heels. Imagine you are pressing something away from your heels. When we do these exercises in the studio, I usually place my hand there. I create the resistance for you. So imagine I'm still there. You're still pressing me away with your heels. I hope you, we can get back to the studio soon and do this exercise together. I would love to assist you very soon. And roll down. Ah, all the way down. Woo, so good. My abs are on fire. What about yours? Stretch for a moment. Side to side, really lengthen. Now you can let your ribs pop up to the ceiling. Ah, good. Okay. Bend your knees. The feet are hip distance, your knees are hip distance. So, what I've learned is that usually many, many, many big people tend to let the knees open out to the side, okay? Because it's very easy, just let your knees go, okay? So, if you are one of these, or even if you don't think you're one of these, but you actually are, please, something between your knees. So, something that is more or less the measure of a fist. So, a very, I don't have any weight. I have a tiny little bowl. So place something, the measure of a fist in between the knees. And I want you to keep the same distance. Or other case, if your feet are too wide open, place the prop between your ankles, okay? Keep this distance throughout the exercise. Now, let's roll. Articulating the spine tail to the shoulders. I want you to roll your pelvis in towards you and slowly up by pressing into your feet, your heels and all ten toes. Press into the hands also. Shoulders wide open. The shoulders here are your base of support. The ribs are in. They are important. You can also actually uh, touch your spine and make sure your spine is flat. Roll down. Again, roll your pelvis in and up. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Press into all ten toes. Roll down. Articulate the spine. This is a such a nice stretch for your back. Exhale. Roll up. Top. Keep pressing to your feet. Your knees are reaching up to the ceiling and slowly down. One last one. Good. Ready to add the legs. If you don't feel comfortable or if you have low back pain, don't do it. You can just stick to the exercise and enjoy this nice stretch for your back. So keep rolling up and down. Otherwise, if you want to go harder, on the stability challenge, reach the right leg straight to the ceiling. And make sure your hips are still even. So I don't want you to lift the hip and collapse the pelvis or uh, lift the hip with the leg. Keep the right hip away from you, lower the leg down and lift it up. Lower down and up. Lower down and up. Two more. Down and up. Keep pressing the opposite leg in the opposite foot. And lower down, stay down. Flex the knee, foot on the floor. Other side, press on the right foot. Left is up to the ceiling, long. Left hip is down and away. Lower the leg, lift it up. Try not to move your pelvis in space. Keep the pelvis high all the time. Lower down and back, foot on the floor. Hold, inhale here. Roll down. Extend the left leg on the floor. Left heel pressing on the mat. Right leg up to the ceiling. We go into the one leg circle. So 
to circle the leg across the body and up and around. Across the body and around. Across the body, around. This is a stability challenge, a stability exercise. Reverse the circles. So the focus is on the opposite leg, really pressing hard into the floor, into the mat. Your arms both pressing into the mat. And the pedal is still all the time. Switch. Opposite heel pressing. Keeps even. Sacrum very heavy at the center. Control this circle. Try to keep the leg as straight as you can. Imagine you are really touching the ceiling as you circle the leg around. Other direction. Two more. Last one. Lower down. Hug your knees to the chest and rest for a moment. Rock left and right. Really make sure you are opening the chest as you go up. 
and down. So let me stress again about the pelvis position. It's so important. I want you to arch your spine and hand into your low back. So don't show your tail up to the ceiling. Don't show your tail off. Really actually tuck your pelvis under. Your pubic bone is heavily pressed on the floor. Keep the weight onto your sacrum, onto your pelvis, and lower down. Your belly bottom is up all the time. You see, in this position, I cannot come up so high. Adjust the height of the exercise. Adjust the shaft extension. You can actually get into your back. One more time. And reach up. Open the collarbone. Reach on through your fingertips. Feet on the floor. Belly up. And lower down. And again, we round the spine into a nice child pose. Work the sides of the body. Lie down your body into one long line. The bottom arm is extended, is lying in front of you. Again, here, if you're not comfortable with your neck, you can rest on a pillow or on a book. I want you to stretch the leg long, stretch your waist long. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, press on the floor on your bottom arm and rise up with the spine and with the legs. It's like you want to bring your toes closer to you and you want to touch your toe. And lower down with control. Again, press on the floor. There is no need to move anything. We are keeping uh, the position. We are we're staying where we are in space. I just want you to press and slide towards your toes. And with control over down. Really fire your obliques, your side to lift yourself up. You're closing yourself like a book. And down. And up. And down. Twice more. Exhale when you go up. Inhale to lower down with control. One last one. Up and stay up. Try to keep the hand along the body, or you can just place your fingers slightly on the floor. Lift the legs higher, higher. Resist, go higher, up. Don't rest on the arms, you are actively pressing. Obliques are on fire. Four, three, two, one. Stay long, 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 long. Hold the position. Legs high. And lower with control. Very good. Swipe around to work the other side, and we are almost there. Again, all together, exhale, rise up from the floor, up, 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 slide along the body. Can you go past your knee? Down. Exhale, press on the floor, up, control. Down. Please careful with your neck. You want to keep your neck slightly on the diagonal. Don't come up all the way, okay? Don't break the line of the spine. So the neck and the head are gently following this even lateral flexion in our spine. Up, up, up. Press on the floor. Lift the legs higher from the trunk, from your obliques. And up. down twice more. We go up, last one, up and stay up with the legs only, up, two, three, legs together, squeeze the inner thighs, four, three, two, resist, long, 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 reach as high as you can, one long leg with your body, and lower down, oh, so 
good. I'm very happy. Let's sit down. I will face you. Okay. Cross your legs together. We stretch. Up and over. Mm. Sit heavy on both hips, on both seat bones. And really allow your side to stretch long. You can look up to the ceiling. Keep breathing. Expand your rib cage. And return. Other side. Up and over. And return. Still sitting down with one arm against the knee. Pull yourself up and twist back as far as you can. Look back if you can. Remember that I don't want you to slouch down and just twist, but really grow tall. Use your abdominals to lift the ribs away from the hips, from the pelvis. Center, other side. Pull against the opposite knee. Twist. Bring the opposite shoulder closer to the front knee. Reach, reach, reach. Sitting heavy on the seat poles. Don't lift up. Don't lean with the spine. And return at the center. Gently pull your neck down to one side. With the opposite hand, you can also pull the opposite shoulder down and away to open this area a little bit more. Breathe in intention. Keep breathing. And switch. Pull the shoulder down. Pull the neck away. The ear away from the shoulder. On the hands and knees. Let's move the spine. We are on all four, hands under the shoulders, knees under hips, and one log line with the spine. So resist with your abdominals against gravity. Pull yourself away from the floor. You are resting very light on your wrist. Actually, you are not resting. You are pressing away from your fingertips. I want you to arch around your spine into an even flexion. Eyes are to the knees. Your shin and your feet are pressing into the floor too. Reach your back up high to the ceiling like a dome. And with articulation, starting from the tail, from the sacrum, from the low back, arch the spine to an even extension. Focusing the extension on the upper back. And again, round up, 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 up. Focusing the work and the flexion into the low back. Extend. And up. Arch. Bring your tail to the back of your head. And now up, the tail to the heels. Pull your navel to the sky and back into one nice even arch. And now we are returning to a flat back. One long line with the spine. From here, tuck your toes on the floor. Press yourself up and away from the wrist. We stretch the spine, we stretch the back of your thighs. So you are into a um, Nice, keep up your tail up to the ceiling. Open your sternum, bring your chest and your sternum closer to the thighs. Eyes are to the feet, to the knees. Let your head heavy hanging there. Press from your shoulders. Your heels probably won't touch the floor, it's totally fine. 
and then hinging back a little bit more. I want you to place the feet on the floor, walk back, hands to the toes, hand to head knee, eyes to the knees again. Shake your head side to side, like say no. No, 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 no. Shake, 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 shake. Soften your knees here. Body weight into the heels, into the toes. Back at the center, hold. And slowly roll up, pulling yourself up with the force of the abdominals. Pulling yourself, your chest away from the front of the thighs. And it's all ladies. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this class. If you did, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question, contact me or write a comment below this video. Thank you very much for watching me today.